We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. GoProvidence.com. Chef Paul Shire from The Roy is here. We're making polenta fries with gorgonzola cheese. That alone sounds fantastic. Thank you. Thanks Thank you. for coming in today. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, let's uh, let's go over the uh, the ingredients. So anybody at home who wants to uh, you know maybe whip this up tonight and surprise family when they get home Excellent. can do that. And we'll talk about what we uh, what we need to get this uh, get this going. The first step is to make the polentas. We need a fine ground cornmeal, heavy cream, a little grated cheese, some whole butter, some chopped thyme and parsley, salt and pepper of course, and then we top it with the gorgonzola and the parsley. And Okay, now when you, uh, for the cornmeal, I mean, is there anything specific? I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch of different types, um, you know, that we could buy in the market. Is there anything yeah. that you really, you know, I mean, I you're, like the, the you're the professional. One. The, the fine ground, because it blends easier. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty simple to it's, make. It's pretty simple to make. Now, how, mm -hmm. and, and it'll all hold together so that we can make these french fries and everything? It holds together, and after after we whisk it and make the actual polenta, we lay it out on a sheet pan, okay. cool it for a little bit, and then we can cut it, and it'll hold its shape after. Okay. So that's a cool in the, in the refrigerator for, I don't know, 20, 40 minutes. And this is something simple anybody can make. I mean, you know, I mean, you're the professional guy, so I mean, simple to you may not be simple to somebody at home. I'll have a simple recipe that we can follow right along at home. Okay. Easy. And uh, some of the other ingredients we have, we have the Gorgon uh, Zola, um, the cheese and everything else that we... You can also substitute goat cheese, boars and cheese, anything, fresh mozzarella, anything you really want to put on there. If you don't like the uh, Gorgon Zola, you can sub whatever you, can sub, all right. you want. Okay, all right. I know a lot of people, you know, some cheeses they, they like, you know, some don't like the blue cheese and everything else, so substituting is, is cool for this recipe. Absolutely. Absolutely. We already have, uh, you already have um, some... Uh, house marinara sauce. House marinara yeah, sauce, which I made but before. that's also... I mean, you made this one, but I you made can also it. You use, can use a store bought. You can use whatever your favorite is, or if you have grandma's recipe, you like, you can, you we can use, use that. that. All right, perfect. It smells fantastic already, and we haven't even gotten cooking yet. Let's go back to you. We are about to make the polenta for our polenta fries that we are making with Chef Paul Shire from the Roy. And uh, what exactly is going to go into polenta? It's pretty, pretty simple to make, right? Pretty simple. Okay. You can either use stock or water. Mm -hmm. I always put a little salt and pepper in the water to start. Give it some nice flavor. Give it some flavor. Okay. And then we begin to whisk in the uh, the cornmeal. Okay. And this is this is a good amount of cornmeal. How much are we using today? I don't know if it's about two and a half, three cups. Okay. We might Excellent. need a little bit more. So now, what see. type of consistency are we looking for here? A little bit thicker than this. Okay. okay. Maybe you pour so a little bit more from the bag sure. and be perfect. Almost there. Okay. Just a, just a touch. Just a touch. Yeah. Oh gosh. Here we go. Perfect. 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 Excellent. Oh, you can. Wow. I'm literally watching that thicken up as we speak. That really makes like a nice kind of a what, like a like a grits consistency. It's a, it is. It's very yeah. similar to a grits. And now I'll put a little bit of the butter in here, and we'll pour a little bit of the heavy cream. Heavy cream. Excellent. Oh wow. And the grated cheese. And grated cheese. And what grated kind of cheese. cheese are we using today? That's Parmesan and Romano blend. Parmesan. Oh, okay. So that yeah, can just put like half of that. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah. So it's nice and cheesy, and that'll all hold together. Right. And all we're right. gonna mix this all together, and we're gonna put it onto a sheet pan. Okay. And then let it solidify in the refrigerator. And all it's right. Gonna so, and how much time does it need to sit for? About a half an hour, and then it'll come out. Oh, it like comes that. out into these yeah. sticks. Yeah. Okay. So cut little strips cut out of it afterwards. Excellent. And you can see, yeah, you can see the flavors in there. Are there also, did you kind of add the some? Fresh herbs. Fresh um, herbs. Thyme, a little mm -hmm. bit of sage, parsley. Um, Maybe kind of whatever you're growing in your garden absolutely. even around this time. That'd be great. Excellent. And then you make your own marinara, whatever your favorite gravy is. Here's oh, that. all mm -hmm. right. We are going to talk about that a little later in the show because that's when we're going to assemble our entire dish and, of course, try it and talk about your jacket. And talk about the jacket. All right. <laughs> we're going to do that all a little later. Back to you. This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, we are cooking with GoProvidence.com with Chef Paul Shire from The Roy, and we are ready to finish up our polenta fries. But first, talk about what's in that pan, what because you okay. saw us mixing up the, the cornmeal and everything so in the last segment. So you made the segment. dough in the pan right mm -hmm. before the break, mm -hmm. and then I transferred, I sprayed it a little bit with or some kind of food release or for an olive oil or something so it doesn't stick. Okay. Poured the mixture in there and made sure it's evenly distributed, and then we're going to let that solidify in the refrigerator for a half hour, 45 minutes, so it gets cold. Okay. And then we'll cut little strips like that. Excellent. All right, so these are the these strips right here. And okay. We just want to flour them. That's a little flour, cornmeal, salt, and pepper. So we want to toss it in that a little bit. And while you're doing that, I'm going to put the olive oil in the pan. You want to make sure the saute pan gets nice and hot so we can get a little 
color and texture on it. Just okay. bang and off so a little bit. So it really doesn't stick to the pan too, right? Right. right. Yeah. There we go. And now, if you have a non-stick, you can just put go it right in there. Yeah, right. Ooh, if you have a non-stick nice pan, sizzle. it's even better. It's Looks they good. hold together yeah. really well too. Right. Once you can just make sure you cool nice them for long enough, and then they'll they'll and then they'll they'll. Gel, still gel right, right up. Yeah. And you can Excellent. do it with grits too. I mean, I did it with grits and made a, uh, a lobster sauce and put it on top. So it was like oh. a seafood and grits, and it was really nice. But this is good with the marinara. And, and just any was that you said that's flour. So just any any type of just all-purpose flour, all flour. A little okay. bit of, a little bit more of the actually the cornmeal mix, right. salt and pepper, a little mm -hmm. bit a tiny bit of garlic, and then we throw it right in there. And we're gonna get a little color on them. Okay. And Delicious. And let's talk about the sauce too that we're going to coat over it. You kind of made your own uh, marinara, but it's pretty, there's a lot of stuff going on I, here. I like mine chunky. So I do too. Yeah. What, yeah. How, did you, how did you uh, chunkify this one? What's going on in there? So I it has been chunkified. <laughs> <laughs> it has been chunkified. Yeah, there's know. so many chunks. I'll have to give it a little stir here. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, there's so onions, here, onions, garlic, some fresh basil, mm -hmm. uh, crushed red pepper. So and I use, you know, the, the uh, whole tomatoes and break them up oh, a little right, bit. Those, yeah. And the yeah. crust Good. as well. Good. And it makes, uh, makes a nice stir. So roughly, I mean, about how much time do we cook our... We just want to get them a little bit of for. color and texture on them. So it's going to take, I don't know. Let's just we can let it go another. So another minute or so on this yeah. side. Okay, so, so while we'll get a little bit golden brown. While, while this is going on, then this year we're just going to let this gel. We're going to that, that would have already been in the refrigerator okay. for okay. half an hour. So that's actually this. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Got it. So let's yeah. move this up. Well, well, yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. We'll put it put aside. Back for now. And you got to tell us about your coat. Because I think you're right. one of the most excitedly dressed uh, chefs that we've had on our show for a while because this My just looks like a lot of fun. My partner, Paul Radulis, has a company called Liquid Blue. Right. And they make all the tie-dyes and the Grateful Dead paraphernalia. And I had to make me a couple jackets. That is so, nice. Yeah, we so need that. Absolutely. I know. We, we need that. Some, to get we some should pants. maybe like tie-dye <laughs> our aprons, mm. right? We could get a little we like blue that, and yeah. white That's going a on there. Necklace. <laughs> Thank like that. you. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, All so right, so this is going to cook for a few minutes. Going to get some color on this. A little bit of color, then I'm going to transfer it right onto the pan here. Okay. You can let it get a little bit browner if you want. Mm -hmm. What we'll do is we'll put these put those on there. like this. And then if you want to crumble some of the Ooh. gorgonzola and a little bit of the grated cheese on there. Okay. And we'll get it ready for the And then just the sprinkle oven. this? Yeah, sprinkle right. it. Throw as much on there as you want. I like a lot. I like a lot. I like a lot. Yeah, I like a lot of it. Chunk it right up okay. there. Yeah. Delicious. And, uh... Yeah, your fingers will smell really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then we have our uh, our sauce that we're going to add to that. So too. I'll put this in the oven for oh, oh, I don't know, oh. 10, 15, on a, on, or, or a little bit less if you have it hotter. What temperature is your oven? 400. 400 degrees. For about 10 minutes. But we do have a finished product right over here. And that looks fantastic. It does look fantastic. We've got all the cheese melted. Remind everyone too where you guys are located, so where they we're can get something like this. 150 Chestnut Street in the knowledge district it is now so <laughs> right. i almost said jewelry but it's not and that's the actual portion that's what you get if you come down and order the polenta fries appetizer if you come down on friday or saturday nights we have jazz going on from eight o'clock nice. on and Fun. it's not so loud that you can't hear yourself Little right. oh, that's good. While nice. you eat your dinner. that is that's always good players. all right if you want this recipe you can head to our website wpri.com